Hi guys, hope you are doing well. Uh, this is Subransu Panda, and here I am back with a very interesting session today. That is a change data capture in a Salesforce. Might be you have heard about this before, but uh, this is this is one related with the integration pattern which is in a Salesforce. So um, if you know about it, let like, what is change, like uh, integrations pattern. There are the multiple ways. Uh, we can uh, implement the integrations with Salesforce and the third parties. So some of this like uh, request and reply, request and reply, the fire and forgot, batch data synchronization, remote call-in, UI update based on data changes, and data virtualization. Uh, in this tutorial, I uh, I'm not going to going to in a deep detail of about these sessions, but yeah we'll we'll talk about the one one process of that in the batch data synchronization uh under that we have a very uh, solution about this like how to handle this batch data synchronization and one of the solution is change data capture like salesforce change data capture it is very powerful in um, integrations pattern like it is like a trigger you can say where whenever the record changes happens in a salesforce like creation or the updation or the undeletion everything or the deletion or undeletion that will capture and it will transfer the data or whatever the changes happens to the external system or you can use that in a like trigger logic so you can uh, use that in a lwc component or you can uh, check with the api as well so we'll talk about today about uh, this change data capture in like in a depth and hope uh, you will like this video so we'll uh, start with the session today so what is cdc or the what is change data capture in a salesforce so change data capture is used for simple one way outbound message like data broadcast from salesforce to the external system and you can use that um, message or your the response json in your lwc or in your th external system as well to so that um, you can you can rectify whatever the changes happens to that particular record for example say that an external system wants to receive a broadcast every time in a salesforce whenever the account record is created or the updated or deleted or it can be undeleted operations so that can be used in a cdc we'll go into the one um, demo section also so no worry okay so here is the one diagram i have shown uh, where the you can see the employee name happen uh, the update update happens in the salesforce and it will synchronize with the salesforce database whenever this happened the event was is change and it will fire on one event in the backend using the change data capture and it will synchronize to the subscriber it subscriber can be an external system or it can be a lwc component where your logic should be written and after that it can be updated to the external database or you can do the uh, other things like you can create your own task on basis of that or you can create or update anything other records in the salesforce so that can be happen using the change data capture um, <laughs> this is like a very theoretical part no worry i'll give you one demo also so like we'll start with the demo hands on so we'll give you two demo actually um, first we'll check with the using workbench might be you know about like workbench uh, using workbench you can do the multiple operations like you can call the APIs uh, for the Salesforce. You can get the um, creation, updation, deletion, everything using the workbench. And in the second example, we'll using uh, we are using the LWC to that we can capture that event, whatever happened in the Salesforce, and we can do the other things using the LWC component. Okay. So we'll start with the demo first using the workbench. So let's start with the demo today so um you have to enable the change data capture and it is very simple in a salesforce you don't have to do anything just uh, go to the setup in a salesforce and search change data capture in a salesforce 
then you have to just uh, select whatever the entity you have to choose for the change data capture and you can add that into the selected entities so for today's uh, live demo we have using this job application custom object and we'll go with this custom object so whatever uh, the record will be happen with this object record this will fire an uh, like event and we'll subscribe that event to that uh, we can get the another result or we can do the other things on basis of that record okay i had already logged in with um, like workbench you can also log in with your salesforce account it can be a sandbox account or can production environment as of now i am using the developer account so you can also use that after login you can see the different tabs here so go to the queries then you have to go to the streaming post topics after click on that you have a different radio button here push topic and journey subscription so you have to go to the journey subscription and then you have to go to the subscription uh, give me a moment okay um, now we have to use this subscription api here so in a workbench you have to just enter the data then we have to go to the object name first so here we are our object name is job application remember you don't have to copy the underscore underscore c you have to just copy that api name without the c so i'm just copying this now go to the here yeah. now you have to write the change event and after then just click on the subscribe Now you can see here the subscription is successfully done. Now whatever the changes happen, you can get the um, JSON uh, response here. Like I'll give the demo also. So go to any job application record. Oh, sorry, let's go to the. Okay, this is the one sample job application record where I'll I'll update the status and let's happens what the happens with the workbench. So I'll update the review resume to schedule interviews and we'll save that. Now go to the workbench. See, you can see the data complete JSON here and you have changed the set status to the schedule interviews and you will get the replay ID here. So replay ID is the most important thing using that replay ID. If the subscription is not happen and um, by any chance you have missed that subscription, so you can use that replay ID and you can uh, again you can fire you can subscribe that using that replay ID. This is the standard um, field given by in the uh, change event. So you can remember that replay ID here. And <clears throat> whatever the changes happens, let's see you can see here the change fields name last modified date happens and status is changed so you can get this complete json um, whenever the you have subscribed this event so similarly when you delete the record you will get the response you will uh, whenever you undelete the record you will get the response so using that you can do that and uh, in the second demo we'll go by the lwc component we'll give you the demo like how whatever the code you have to write it is a simple lwc component nothing to write in the html part just you have a logic in javascript will give you that demo as well so wait for a while all right um this is our the second demo for today um this is uh, first we have already seen using the workbench so in a workbench, you can subscribe that um, the object, whatever like standard object or custom object you can subscribe and you can get the response using the um, various event like uh, created or updated, delete, undelete, various operation. For similar way, we are using the LWC component here and using that LWC component, we are trying to achieve uh, one simple thing. Whenever the record updated, and it will if the record updated uh, the status has to be like um, if it is a status is extended and offer then we are trying to create one task record 
uh, using that LWC component. Okay, we'll go to that uh, code uh, one by one, and uh, no worries about the code. As I already said, like um, we'll give you the this uh, GitHub link uh, in my YouTube video in the below of this uh, description box. So no worry about the code. I'll go uh, the code uh, for a safe time being. I have already created this LWC component, and I'll show you whatever the written here. Okay. So in a HTML part, there is no uh, no need to write anything. Okay. So in a JS part, this is the main part. You have to write uh, the business logic here. Okay. And the meta XML, we have uh, target the record page because we are importing this LWC component into our job application record. Okay. Now go to the subscriber JS part. Okay. So first we have imported the, uh, you already know about the lightning element and API. So I'm not going to detail here. Uh, the EMP API, it is the important there. We are, uh, we have to like um, get the subscribe, unsubscribe and on error events using that lightning EMP API. And we have created one change data capture controller here for in, if I'll go to the change data capture controller, as you can see, there is nothing logic written here. Just the simple thing uh, we are getting the record ID. Uh, using that record ID, we are getting the job application record and we are creating one task record against that job application. So nothing to write in the very much in the controller part. Our business logic written only in the JS part. Okay. So we are, um, remember you have, uh, we have already used that job application change event in our workbench, right? So similar way we are using that channel name only but in a LWC component. So uh, we have written the handle change name. So whenever the change name, uh, channel name is subscribed, it will get the channel name from here and it will check the image target value. Okay. And in render callback, if the subscriber is not true, okay, then we are calling the handle subscribe method. And if it is, once it is called, then it will, um, the it will uh, update as a true so it will not go to uh, into that loop so it will stop the recursion okay so this is the main uh, logic here written here in connected callback uh, we have called the register error listener so whatever the uh, any error listener is there so it will uh, handle all the things okay in handle subscribe method we have called from here render callback okay we are getting the uh, response so, uh, this response is nothing but whatever the we are getting in the workbench. So let me see where is this. Yeah, this is the response. If you remember, uh, whenever we have subscribed and uh, when we, whenever we change anything in the job application record. Okay, so that is the same response we'll get whenever the subscribe is done. Okay. And we are doing the uh, another call here, the handle message. We are passing that response to the handle message and handle message will do another logic here, main business logic here. Okay. Uh, and this is the handle subscribe method, unsubscribe method, which is nothing but uh, once the response is done, once the subscription method is done, then it will automatically unsubscribe method. Okay. So go to the handle message. Handle message will check the response. If it is response is not null, it will check the parameter. If the data is there or not, the data is nothing but this data. Okay. And after that, we are loading the payload payload here. The payload is nothing but this law object. Okay. And after that, we are checking the response payload have the property status and change event handler status is nothing but you can see whenever the change happened to the status it will give the one field name here and whatever the changes names here and change event handler is nothing but the detailed description about like whatever the changes happens in with the record okay and once if it is match then we are checking with the record id the record id is, is nothing but another record id method here uh, where it is yes so record IDs will get the record IDs here. Whatever the changes happens with the Salesforce, it will give an array of the record IDs. So we are checking that record ID. And if the record ID is matched with the current record ID, then we are logic, we are uh, calling that Apex controller. 
it will whatever uh, the it will do the same thing like it will create one task and if the error is there then it will show the output console log error okay and uh, we are checking with this record id is nothing but this record id as you are aware about this record id is nothing but whenever you declare as a api record id it will automatically fetch the current record id where you have dragged this component so um, we have already uh, like Im uh, imported that in our job application record sorry i have all <laughs> let me go to the, yeah so this is the um, like uh, lightning app builder for job application record and you have to just search your component i have already drag and drop here cdc cdc component i have already imported okay now we go back to the our record page and we'll update our status to the um what we have written let me just see yeah extend and offer if extend and offer is updated to the status then it will change okay i am already uh, done that let me just change to phone screen first okay uh, let me see if the workbench get the response or not uh, might be it be disconnected that's why no worry i'll go to the job application record okay now we'll update that status to extend and offer and when you hit this save button it will show the task assigned a task has been assigned to you please complete then now go to the task records and see see you can see here this is the previous record i have already tested it now this is the new record which is created today and we have uh, successfully created one task record using that so this is the uh, main logic using that lwc component also you can subscribe that change event whatever the changes is done similar way you uh, you can do the logic for your created uh, created event or the undelete delete operation so this is the main logic i uh, hope you like it this is the uh, like um uh, when I, when i get to know about this change event this is like for a magic for me because it it avoid the trigger part because uh, as a developer you know about like write the trigger write the handler part write the test classes so you can you can avoid that part if it is already happens if it's a uh, salesforce giving this uh, such amazing things so you have to use that okay so this is for the day and uh, yeah remember the if you are using the standard objects then you have to declare using that data slash standard object without underscore change event name and if you are using the custom object then you have to use that slash data slash custom object underscore underscore change event so this is the main point whenever you are using that in your like um, workbench or your component yeah and thank you for your time and if you really like this video, please share with your friends and do hit the like button. And don't forget to subscribe my channel for such amazing video. Thank you. Thank you so much for your time.